Ahoy! Today we're going to talk about the five things that I absolutely hate about this Jeep J10 and every other J series pickup for that matter. The first thing I hate about this thing is how small it is. This was considered a full size truck back in its day, but in comparison to Chevy or Ford or even Dodge, this cab is much smaller. I had to install a tilt wheel because that's where the steering wheel would have normally been, right in my leg. Very difficult to get in and out. So I had to put a tilt wheel in it just to be able to drive this thing. When you're in second gear, shifters right up against your leg. And then the worst thing is you ride your foot on the clutch over on this side and your knee rests against that right there. So yeah, super comfortable. If you're gonna make it a full size truck, make it a full size truck, not any of this half in between mid size BS. The second thing that I absolutely hate about this truck, aside from these annoying things, that's not what we're here for. I absolutely hate that right there. Carburetors are the absolute worst. I know it was just the technology of the time, but they're garbage. Every time you're going up a hill or anytime you start it, a cold start or even a hot start, there it just doesn't work well. You go up a hill, it stalls, doesn't start. Yeah, most of the reliability issues of this truck is all completely, yeah, it's that fault. My third biggest gripe with this truck would be that. Right there. All of that. And that. And that. And that. And that. And all of that. And that. And I know you're not going to be able to see it, but this whole tail piece of the frame from right there, which is like right in the middle of the truck, that all had to be replaced. It had to be cut off, completely rebuilt from scratch and replaced because it was so rusty. I know what you're going to say. Oh, it's an old truck. They rust. Mm -hmm. Look, I've had Chevys and I've had Fords and I've had all kind of old vehicles, even old Japanese vehicles. This thing by far is the rustiest of all of them. It's not just mine. They're notoriously rusty. Everybody who I ever talk to on forums and things, they all, same issues, same rust in the same areas. And it's not just J trucks. It's all AMCs basically from the time. All the CJs, all the J10s, all the J20s, the Commandos and everything. All the old Jeeps are like that. It was just... I don't know if they had bad metal or bad paint on them or what, but they that's just, they all do that. My fourth complaint with this truck would be that there's literally no aftermarket support for these other than like two, maybe three companies. You can't just go buy like a nice suspension lift for this thing. You got to custom make it yourself or you got to buy it for some other vehicle and modify it to fit on this vehicle. As far as finding like... I don't know, replacement body panels, you're stuck with one company that I know of, BJ's Off-Road, which they're way too proud of their stuff. It's way too expensive in my opinion. I understand it's rare, but I don't know. I, I tend to just find stuff at the junkyard before I pay way too much for stuff. Literally everything for this truck pretty much has to be custom built or you're gonna pay somebody who is a custom builder for these trucks a boatload of money to build you something. For example, this front bumper, it's off of a Wrangler. It's been cut and modified and booger welded on there to fit on this truck, but it didn't come on this truck. They don't make a bumper like that for it. Same with the suspension lift. These springs are off of a 90s Dodge Dakota. They didn't, it's not for this truck. I had to custom modify them to fit. Even down to the wheels, like the back spacing on the wheels, how close the spring is to the tire i had to run wheel spacers just to be able to fit the the common backspacing wheel same thing with the rear bumper this is also from a different vehicle it's been cut and modified same with the interior that column it's from a cherokee the steering wheel that's aftermarket i had to custom make it to fit that button the horn button on there radio custom fit i had to move the glove box over to this side just to be able to run a radio that's a normal size because they normally have a big glove box in the middle 
Door panels are also completely custom. You can't buy anything like that off the shelf. God forbid you need a tailgate because you can't even buy one. They don't make them, nobody sells them. You can get a reproduction, but it won't say, it won't have the Jeep stamped in it. So, I mean, if you're not gonna have the Jeep stamped in it, why even have a tailgate? And don't get me started on this front axle. This axle only came in this truck specifically for only a couple years. So if you need replacement axle shafts, which I do, that one's broken. You're stuck with like two companies as an option that make chromoly axle shafts for this thing because it's like a four or five year only axle that only came in this truck. Even though it's a Dana 44, which commonly came in everything of the time. Fifth biggest gripe with this truck, and this one's kind of petty, but it kind of annoys me. Nobody knows what it is. Everybody's like, oh, I didn't know Jeep made a truck. Is that a Comanche? No, brother. This is before the Comanche. Take it to Jeep shows, and most of the old timers know what it is, and they like it and think it's cool and whatnot. A handful of people, the younger crowd, they'll know what it is, but I'd say 99% of the people who drive the JKs and all the gladiators and all this stuff, like half of them don't even know what this thing is, and they're always like, they kind of almost look down on you when you're in the jeep clubs and stuff and not a single one of them ever waves at me or gives me one of their stupid little dash ducks and that's just unforgivable anyway that's the five things that i really don't like about this truck if you own one of these trucks and you think i missed something let me know if you think i'm just being petty and whiny let me know that if you enjoyed this rant uh i guess give it a like or a thumbs up or whatever and if you really liked it subscribe but if not then good day.